so hello students here is the second part of the cell programming so in the previous lecture i have discussed the basic preliminary arithmetic operations and uh, as well as the uh, decision control structure now in this lecture we'll discuss the loop string handling in cell script programming and a little bit of array now so the first thing we will do that we will deal with the string now how we need to deal with this so whenever we are referring to a string variable it must be in a double quote fine the input mechanism is very similar the way we have taken the input in uh, other time the input mechanism is very similar uh, just a normal variable name must be there now let us do just the first program where i will check whether the input entered input character is vowel or consonant so let's do it read l l is the variable name then we'll do one if else if block now in case of string for checking the inequality or equality this double equal or not equal will work so if it is equals to equals to a or so for or there is logical operator hyphen o so my vowels are a e i o u so let me write A E I A E I then O okay so this is these five letters are there if they are matching again you may take the capital letter differently another statement that's up to you fine i'm just giving you that the example how you are supposed to use this so these are all vowel else consonant now definitely you can rearrange this program whether this is a number whether this is a letter all the thing you can do fine that is up to you so this is this much now let me try to run this whether there is any error or not we need to check it okay it's working again let me check okay consonant fine so this program whatever i have written it's correct now i have shown you that uh, to deal with a single character next another sample program i'll write that uh, mm, for example there is a system where uh, there will be one username and password and uh, if it is matching with the existing username existing password then there will be one welcome message and otherwise there will be one just rejection message or restrictive trespasser that kind of things will be there but i just want to show you that how now you can deal with the 
string of character fine how you can deal with the string fine so just take the input so in case of the string what you need to do you need to deal with the string within the double quote and for equal or unequal you need to use that double equals here i didn't have used that minus eq that particular operator i didn't have used you need to use this one fine enter the username and password fine read both the string name and pass these two are variable names now for example your username is uh, cac2017 and password is umk for example so this is the variable so need to be put in the double quote and your predefined is 2017 and so again use minus a then use for the password U E M K. So this is the logic, and if this is matching, then echo. Welcome. Else echo. and this must okay you can just this way so let me check so this is the format just i am showing you how you can deal with the string fine if something is not equal then there will be just the not symbol you need to use those uh, these operators in case of string in cell programming See, I have given A B C D E F, and it shown me that you are trespasser. Fine. Next, I am giving welcome. So that is there. Fine. So this way we can deal with the string. The next thing we will learn that how to use the loops. So in case of cell programming, there is the while loop, there is the for loop, and there is one until loop. So until and while work principle is almost same. Uh, while is having all kind of flexibility that we can get in other programming language. In case of for loop. there must be the tone enter number list must be given at the beginning so that is not that much flexible so i am showing few of the programs one by one with the different loop just look at one by one so the first program i want to show you that uh, sum up individual digits using while loop so again while loop structure is while then the conditional statement then a do statement within the do statement and after the do statement write whatever the mathematical operation or whatever the statement you want to write and at the end there will be done do done while condition do set of statements do done fine so that is the way now next we'll do 
one program sum of individual digits using the while loop fine so let's start yeah let's start uh, let us start with uh, again need to take one input read n fine read n okay so i will read one number fine and then we'll check means I know the logic what I need to do I need to find the reminder I need to store that continuously and again I need to divide the number into its uh, by 10 and again I need to do it and I need to continue entire thing till the number is becoming zero fine so let us take one variable assigned with zero you can correlate the logic is same just the syntax is different so I am discussing here few of the programs of different type and so that you can understand the way not equal see I am taking the half any equals to zero then do so that these are the part of the syntax so next I need to calculate so I need to calculate first the reminder this is the first line next sum equals to fine so this is there n equals to xpr again I need to divide the n again just you know all the logic these are all simple program you just need to apply the syntax properly done and then fine so let us try to run it if any problem is there definitely it will stop me from execution ok I am giving one input yeah 3 plus 2 plus 1 6 so ok it is working so this is the way the way you can do this kind of program or next another simple program will do that is finding the factorial of a number fine finding the factorial of a number fine let me do it I will just uh, remove this I will just remove and uh, I need to read the number then for factorial I am taking another variable and that must be initialized with 1 uh, next there uh, I need another variable 1 then dollar i not equals to dollar n then I need to calculate the factorial fine so fact equals to dollar expr dollar fact dollar 
dollar i fine so this is the main then i need to increment the i so this is dollar i plus 1 fine and at the end just print just print the factorial value okay so this is this 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 hopefully there is no error let us run oh sorry this is a not any this must be eq because not any means not equal so one point less there is some error i think let me check so confusing all okay sorry for this silly mistake so 5 there will be 120 so this is the operator this must be less than equals to somehow i given some other thing so this way you can do this while loop now let me give you one example Until loop, I am not discussing. That is very same. Instead of while, there will be one word until only. Uh, before I going to the nesting of the loop, let me discuss another uh, programming with uh, your with your uh, for loop. Now syntax of the for loop is that there will be one variable, and you need to give the upcoming all the values of the variable means initial to the last value all the variable value you need to give the entirely so the syntax is for space variable space in then you need to give a list of number fine then you need to give a list of number so that is the thing that is not flexible as this while loop so with that we'll do the sum of n natural number or rather sum of five natural number so we'll do in this way uh, there will be no this kind of thing directly i will write the loop fine so there will be one sum as i will do the summation of first five number then we'll write for i in so i is the variable name the loop variable and in is again the keyword then i need to mention the list of number a list of the elements where you are going to search for anything or want to use that list you need to mention in this way then again do done there will be same thing sum equals to dollar e x p r dollar sum plus space dollar i fine so that is for summation and then increment the i also same thing dollar i plus 1 done so just run it oh i just forget to print sir oh
so 15 is the answer so just I'm showing that this is the way you can do it fine this is the way for using the for loop next we'll do another program uh, to print um, one pattern to print one pattern fine next we'll do another program to print a pattern using the while loop so I need to you do the nested loop here fine one of the popular pattern I will do so for that I want to take the input as number of lines then obviously I need two variables just in the similar manner the way we do in the other programming language fine next the outer loop where the I will be there I have initialized I with this then inside that the J loop will be there then j equals to 1 then we'll write while j less than equals to now I want to do it with the i means it will depending on i so that is my choice that with particular pattern I want to do then again do now I want to print now I want to print something so what we will do see normally in case of echo whenever I am using one echo the very next echo always is giving the element in the next line I no need to give uh, a explicitly the new line character like other programming language but here if I as it is implicitly giving you the new line see if I want to omit the new line then I need to use this fine so I want to print the value of j fine this and then I need to increment j here I have incremented j so now I can give our this now this will print the content of one line like, like if the pattern is 1 1 2 1 2 3 so after printing one line content I need to have one new line so now do a blank echo then increment i then you can uh, complete the I loop hopefully no error is there let me run this yeah 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 fine so this way you can get the output good so you can do the nested loop operation using the while loop fine so next the thing we will do many more things here uh, so next program we will do with uh, prime number fine to show that whether the break break continued both exist here I am just going to show you that uh, the break exist fine so as break exist definitely the continue will also exist just I am showing the prime number program to show that how break you need to use here how break you need to use here 
fine that I need to show you take a number then for doing the prime number we generally take the half of that next uh, take the variable for looping take flag next start the loop i less than equals to the half of the number then do the required checking under the while block divide all the number of the range and if the remainder is zero then definitely the number is not prime set the flag equals to one do the break no semicolon just break and you can close the block then you can uh, means you need to increment the i then you can complete this then now again the checking of the flag if flag equals to 0 if flag equals to 0 then echo prime number else echo not prime fine so after that close it so I think it's complete let us check it's a prime number so it's giving the correct result not prime number fine so this way you can do use the break statement and all uh, next we'll discuss about uh, array how you can use the array in case of this uh, particular program fine so that is the thing
so in this cell script when i am declaring the array i do not use the third bracket but when i am going to use the array i need to use suppose i am taking and whenever i am assigning the value it must be in bracket now if i assign now multiple values in a bracket in a space separated format it will act as an array so for example i am taking our faculty names one by one So all these are there. Uh, now, suppose I want to print only one name. Then what I need to do? The syntax is echo dollar second bracket. Then within the third bracket the index second bracket close. Only this much. Check. So SKG zero eight fine. So we'll show. And if you want to print all the names, so again you need to use the loop. Again the default indexing start with zero. Fine. So you can go by this. Uh, while dollar i the number of items are uh, five so i'm taking zero to four do echo Increment the i. Fine. So let me run. Yeah, you can see all the names are there. Fine. So this way, the character. If you store the name or that kind of character, you can do this. Now we'll do just another program that taking the input in the array from the user, and uh, then what we'll do? Then we'll do uh, just uh, summation of all the array elements. Fine. We'll take a list of elements uh, from the user. Then we'll do the summation of all those number. Number of elements read R next fine next 
while first you need to take the input in the array then take this range then do the statement take the input in your array read n yeah read n dollar i expr dollar i increment the loop close it so taking the input is done and the next job is that you will do now the summation again you need to access the element using the loop so this is calculate the summation of individual array element so this is s then plus dollar in the second bracket write individual array element with its specific index so within this second bracket then the array element that is the syntax for accessing individual array element fine again increment the loop that is the i just do the copy paste close the loop and uh, print fine hopefully no error is there let me check 5 1 2 3 5 so this is the result so this is all about you need to learn this way you can use your stand alone machine compiler maybe little bit changes may be required do that or do it this practice do all the assignment Thank you all the best